I love the uniqueness of the town of Piedmont. Um, small, um, everybody has a good idea of who everybody else is, whether you know them personally or not. And I think it's the same for the students at the high school. And being the, really the only church in town and really centrally located, I have great access to the high school and very well received there and it's open to me and gives me a chance to get to know most all of the students that uh, participate in our, our Mexico trip and in our weekly student ministries here. Um, but it, uh, you know, it's a great parental support for all the activities that the students are involved in and that doesn't stop when it comes to the Mexico trip. They want their kids on the trip and they're willing to help in any way they can, um, financially or otherwise, or participating. Um, and I think it just lends to a really good uh, marriage of the church and the community. So the trip starts obviously with the travel down to San Diego and into Mexico and that happens literally planes, trains and automobiles every way you could think of. And then we all converge on camp um, on Monday. The camp is roughly between Tijuana and Tecate and about 12 miles south of the border. And we all descend on camp. We have to set up the whole camp, the kitchen, um, the, the tents, the, the meeting areas and, and get everything set and ready for the week that first day. So it's a bit chaotic. But each team has their role, and all the adults know what's going on, and somehow it all comes together. By about five or six that afternoon, the camp is set up and we're ready to go for the week. And only because we love you. Cheers. Let's rock and roll, everybody. It's always the hardest day, like by far, and like, but it's always like also super fun and rewarding to get everything done. The hardest part is probably like the two hours before lunchtime when everyone's like super frustrated and like you're not on track and like you're super hungry, but then like once you get like once you're eating with your team and like you get like the sandwiches that you need way too badly and everything then like it's kind of just like a wave of like oh my god we can actually do this and then after lunch like everyone just like grinds and goes super hard and like you always get it done like you always think oh my god there's no way we're gonna finish our slab today but everyone always does and like by the end of the day you're so tired and like you're so just like you're like oh my god I actually did that I built three walls I finished my slab like who knew like some 15 kids from Piedmont could do something so great like with their spring break and it's just like so dope <laughs> oh man we're gonna have a lot of tired and dirty and uh, very happy students by the end of the day they're gonna they're gonna pour 17 slabs they're gonna hand mix every bit of that concrete um, they're gonna appreciate a good day of work they're gonna bond and uh, by the end of today, we'll have 17 really good teams ready to go for the next day. They'll get to meet some amazing families who are their neighbors just on the other side of a fence. 
um, and get a and get a good idea of what humanity looks like in a different light. Uh, yeah, no, every try. Right. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Put, you can't block push the, it in at the bottom. Yeah, I think it's gonna be tough. Yeah. It's too narrow. All right. Yeah. Can't be too narrow. Yeah. Pues, me, primeramente que nada, pues, estoy muy agradecida con Dios y con ustedes, pues, que me dan la oportunidad la segunda vez, me que me hicieron mi casa y ahora la segunda vez que van a hacer un cuarto. Este, pues este, muy agradecida porque pues somos cinco, cinco, mi esposo, yo, mis dos hijos y, y Michelle, es hija de mi esposo, pero está con nosotros, entonces este, somos varios. Esto significa mucho para mí porque pues es una gran ayuda que nos están haciendo y pues estamos muy agradecidos por, por que ustedes hayan venido y este y pues esperemos que, que sea pues de muy buen agrado ustedes también al venir aquí y pues ayudarnos a nosotros ¿verdad? Yeah. Sí. Pues por eso, por eso pues nos sentimos a gusto con lo que están haciendo porque pues ocupábamos un lugar así pues porque nuestra casa pues se moja y pues tenemos que tumbar el techo porque se hace mo y pues por eso estamos contentos con ese trabajo. Pues sí, es muy importante porque pues es un apoyo que lo necesitamos y pues sí me siento muy feliz con la, con la nueva casa. Está sí. bien. Sí, que muchas gracias y muchas bendiciones para ellos que pues se tomaron el tiempo de venir a ayudarnos a construir. Y pues muchas bendiciones para ellos. Muchas gracias. Use one vice for bracing. So take those braces off and get the wood out of here. Get the one by four over here. Mi mensaje es primero darle las gracias por su esfuerzo, por su fuerza. Claro que Dios siempre está presente entre nosotros, es Él el que nos mueve. Este, quiero agradecerles de todo corazón a todo, todo muchachito, muchachita que, que está haciendo de este proyecto algo maravilloso para nosotros. Que, que les deseo lo mejor, lo mejor de, de, de esto, de este mundo. Que, que no, no hay palabras, no hay con qué pagarles lo, todo lo que están haciendo por nosotros y gracias por su fuerza, por su voluntad y por todo lo que nos están dando. Has anything surprised me? I, I don't know if I'd say surprised me, but I think you just can't really prepare for the whole experience. I think it's 
I expected it to be very meaningful and impactful because of what I've heard from the students, and I think it's basically exceeded my expectations from that regard. Look at our roof is going up, and I could not be more proud of my team, and in particular, my five freshman girls, who are up there pounding and figuring out what a toenail is, and just realize that we're bird blocking, it means to keep the birds out. <laughs> the adult volunteers are made up of uh, adult male and females that are on each team that builds, that kind of is a, uh, mom and dad for the team as well as overseeing the building and just uh, care for the kids. Um, there's also a team of about 12 to 14 depending on the year of on a cook team and they, um, they're some of the hardest working people in camp. They're up uh, before 5 a.m. and usually going to bed somewhere short of 10 p.m. and they, uh, they prepare three squares a day for 300 plus and we eat well. You try to plan it all in advance. We have a menu that's grown from 2002 when we had 70 people on the trip to 307 and we had Marine, Marine Corps portion control and then we've tried to um, scale it but it's infinite variation we've gone to tortillas so this is the third meal with tortillas we've had them grilled we would had them cheese this morning they're cinnamon coated so uh, you go with what you got how are you doing out here, Wayne? I say I gotta go this way. Uh, there's also some volunteers that, more long-time volunteers that have had a lot of experience on the trip that we call rovers that go around and ensure the quality of the building. Help anywhere I can. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm making coffee with Rod in the morning or uh, helping out on the work site. They just want to uh, make sure they have a good experience, get everything done. Don't get frustrated. Look at our house. Look at the house. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. One. Wave. 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 Yay. All right. Lewis's house. Lewis's house. The house that right. Lewis built. So after one year, the memory's still, still with me. You know, the house is still standing. We saw Lewis over here. Absolutely incredible. Just warms the heart and the soul. seen our family a whole lot. We have two boys who are in school. We've got a mom and a grandmother who are sort of mostly in the house this week and one of my kids asked me last night, what do we do if we don't see the family? What I told them is that's not why we're doing it. I mean, it's a bonus. It's great when you get to spend time with the family. You get to know them. You get to experience what they experience. But we don't do the good thing for the reward, right? Like, we do the good thing to do the good thing. Muy bonito. Y aunque uh, nuestra familia de esta casa no quiere hablar mucho con nosotros, um, la familia uh, al lado de la casa y todos de las otras familias uh, quieren jugar con nosotros y quieren hablar con nosotros y creo que ahora tenemos muchos amigos. Si sí, puedes ver, uh, ayer... Um, Jugamos baseball en la calle y también hoy todos de los niños quieren jugar fútbol con nosotros y ahora los niños están ayudando con la casa y están poniendo a Stucco. Uh, increíble que todos de los niños quieren hablar y ayudar a nosotros porque solo conocemos a nosotros para tres días y nosotros estamos completos, uh, gente nuevo y yo creo que los niños están muy buenos para quiere ayudar y hablar con nosotros y me gusta mucho para este. We are so proud of our Piedmont team. Today they're going to go out to the community, finish 17 houses for families that they've grown to know and grown to love. 
they've been a part of the community, gotten a re- they've really gotten a sense of what it's like to, to be neighbors to people in need. Um, thank you so much for, for being a part of this thing with Amore. Uh, we hope that it, it changes your community because we know it's changed ours here in Mexico. Los llaves, sí. Sí. Ahorita <laughs> sus llaves. Y esta es trabajar con mano de Tess. Sí, Tess. Esta. Ahí, sí. <laughs> okay. Gracias. Sí. <laughs> Um, I couldn't be more happy to give you this house. Um, I hope it serves you well for the for however long it, um, you use it. Um, yeah, that's you got. Para mucho tiempo. Primeramente Dios y gracias a Dios y a ustedes también. He says thanks God. He thanks God and he thanks you guys even more. Thank you. And we look forward to coming back. And visiting you and visiting this house when we come back next year. La próxima año, año uh, nosotros vamos a venir y visitarte. Muchas gracias. ¿Qué más esperamos? A su pobre casa y ustedes. He'll be waiting. Sí. Fantastic. Gracias. Here you go. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Quieren decir algo? Pues les damos gracias por por ayudarnos. Pues aquí los mexicanos no nos ayudan en nada. Pues ustedes vienen a ayudarnos. Sentimos. I said that they're really thankful that we helped them and that here no one no one helps each other. So it's, it means a lot for us to come in and help them. Um, we're very thankful that we had this opportunity to present you guys with a home. It's been really meaningful for us, um, and we are very grateful that you welcomed us into your home. Okay, great. These are for you guys. Muchas gracias. 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 Yo, papá, mozo, qué bonita casa, papá. Ay, qué bonito. All right, can you tell them we wish them many, many years of happiness? que vayan más contentos a la escuela, bien comiditos y que no se preocupen por decir, ay, ¿dónde vamos a ir a comer? Y es lo que tratamos nosotros de apoyar a los alumnos de aquí, a los muchachitos, a los niños. Preocupa, preocuparnos un poquito más por ellos porque de verdad que hay muchos que no vienen, vienen en ayunas y lo que queremos es que coman para que vayan y estudien a gusto y aprendan. Yo quiero dar gracias a usted y su familia por esta oportunidad ayudar a ustedes y también ayudar a esta comunidad porque haciendo esta casa es una experiencia que nunca voy a olvidar y ustedes siempre van a ser en mi corazón. Gracias. Igual nosotros estamos muy agradecidas con ustedes porque no, la verdad no esperamos todo este milagro, mira. Y gracias porque Dios me mandó unos ángeles. Gracias por esta bendición. She said we are her angels. Anybody's wondering. Oh. Uh, gracias. También uh, yo quiero decir gracias para la oportunidad. Gracias para la oportunidad. Y nosotros tenemos sus llaves. <laughs>
Um, it's pretty amazing that we were able to build this house in four days. You don't really leave. You never really. It's miraculous. I did it last year. And it's still crazy. Um, I'm. It's awesome. Got some awesome curtains here. And beautiful curtains. It's really. beautiful. It's it's. It's so nice. Hi, I'm Brooke St. Clair, and you're watching Disney Channel. Do do do. -do.